calling it the pink explosion. I have got a little bit of gold in there and a little bit of white. So we're gonna see how it turns out. Um, I'm doing a 30 by 30 canvas. It's not a big canvas, it's something small. Um, my, my videos are more for the beginner. I am not a professional. I, do, I, I took art class back in junior high. I did not take it in high school, nor did I take it in college or grad school or college on beyond grad school. But I absolutely love to do anything that has anything to do with creating stuff. Um, I, I enjoy paints. I enjoy all kinds of different kinds of art. And whether I'm good or not, I don't know. But I also enjoy um, watching my arms. Also enjoy working with the paint, working with the canvas. And I just wanted to share the different things that I have discovered. I am fairly new to acrylic pour. I have been doing different kinds of painting um, creatively in the past 50 some years. So, and as time goes on, I will show you some of my older older pieces of work and describe to you what kind of art that was and how that was created. So stick with me. We are going to do all kinds of interesting things with my channel that I want to do with my channel, my channel. I want to, I have an entire family that are very, very creative. Um, I have some people that are very spiritual and hopefully we can bring her on and maybe she can do some light readings for us. I think that would be uh, kind of interesting to do. Like I said, I have a large variety of different people that I can bring on here that do a variety of different crafts. And so let's begin with today's uh, video. I have already mixed my white. The white it came from, actually came from the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree is this acrylic, or it's a Acryliology Premium Acrylic Paint. It is a white, it is, I like it. It mixes very, very well with the Floetrol, which I'm sure if you're watching some of the poor videos with some of the experts, um, that is what they use in a lot of their, for their medians to make the paint a little bit more expandable. So, but I've already mixed my white um, and I, I bought these off of Amazon, I believe. Um, I can link that in the description below and I will also link this color that I'm using here in the link below also. Like I said, this is from the Dollar Tree. I pour an entire bottle into a mixing cup. Mixing cup. Um, and I do, I'm not a measurer. Even when I bake and cook and stuff like that, it's kind of more of a feel. Uh, but I put an entire bottle in one of these and then I fill it up with the full trawl up to the top and I put a little bit of water. Um, I'm in Indiana, so you just never know what the humidity is doing here, but I do put a little bit of water in it. I mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, pour it in here and then I shake it and I shake 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 before I use my white. Um, I also keep, um, gold. I keep gold handy. I love to, love to work with gold. Um, I'm using the Artist Loft, um, old gold in here. And sometimes I put a little bit of black in here. And if I do use black, I will use my, this acrylic, Acrylico permanent black. Um, I believe I bought this. I'm not sure. I will have to look it up and see where I bought it. I think it was somewhere like Michael's or somewhere like that. Um, I think I did put a couple drops of the black in here to kind of get a bit, kind of a, kind of a little bit smokier gold look to it. Um, I also have found that I really, really like these little guys. I bought an entire package of these that came with, oh my gosh, I think 24, 36 different colors. Um, I came across them at Home Depot and I bought the whole box and I have really, really enjoyed these guys. And I'll show you how I mix these guys up. Um, today we've got the fuchsia 
and this is by Tester's Craft. And I also have a mat. It's a pink. Um, it just says matte, matte, and it's acrylic, and it's also from this Tester's Craft. And again, I will show you how I mix these up before we put them on to our canvas. So I also keep these little Dixie cups. I don't, I have, I am, like I said, I am a beginner, like many of you, many of you. So I, I'm sticking with the smaller canvases and I'm doing this on a budget like many of you. I buy a lot of my paints from the Dollar Tree or I find things on sale in different places. Um, I also like the Dollar Tree canvases. I have several of those and I will use them. And some of the ideas that I have for my channel is to, I don't want to copy, but do similar things as to what some of the uh, more advanced uh, acrylic pourers do on the really, really large canvases and do them on something smaller, something that's more um, easier to work with. Your workspace might be smaller, that sort of thing. As you can tell, I am in my garage working um, to keep the fumes from getting too strong in the house. Again, I'm in, in Indiana, so and today is a beautiful day outside and we have great weather right now. That can change. Like I said, in Indiana, stick around 15 minutes, like the weather could change. So let's, um, I'm going to scoot you in and, or move you around so you can actually see what I'm doing down here on the canvas. And we will. Very, 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 very pretty. And I got the two pinks. Okay, and like I said, the pinks that we are using are the Tristores, hopefully I'm saying that right, Fuchsia, and the Tristor Matte and Matte, Matty and Matte. All right, um, I'm going to use a little bit of gold. I'll use the Artist uh, Loft uh, Old Gold, and I've got my white. And like I said, for today, I am using the Dollar Tree uh, white. It works out really well. So let's get going. So let me get some white on here. And I am going to use a blow dryer. Um, and I may do a little bit of blowing with the straw. And I don't want that yucky thing on there. Um, ooh, there we go. It is paint, guys. So paint does get a little ucky at times. So, <clears throat> all right, let's just kind of smooth this out just a little bit. And uh, you can blow this out with your blow dryer if you want to. I'm just kind of preparing this for just a little bit of a base for the pour. So I think for today, um, since I got these pretty pinks and I got the gold, um, I think we'll do a, let's do a cup pour. Doesn't that sound like fun? Okay, we'll do that. We will do that. We'll layer it up and we will pour that on there. All right, and I have a few little bubbles. Um, I have a blowtorch here and I always keep on hand this little guy here just in case I catch the place on fire. <clears throat> so always keep that handy just in case. So we'll torch this and get some of those bubbles out of there. And there we go. Okay. And I also have um, this little guy. He is just the cutest little thing. I bought him at Menards. Um, he is for cute little quick torch -y areas. So I got a couple of them here for us to play around with. So let's do a cup pour. So I have, I have a cup here. I bought these again. You're going to say, gosh, what I should do? All she ever does is shop the Dollar Tree. I go there quite often. Um, it's just convenient and helpful. And they have a lot of really nice things there. Especially if you're wanting to start with some crafts. So let's pour just a little bit of the 
pink. And let's do some white. And I got my gold over here. Again, the gold. And these bottles are just absolutely wonderful. Um, you can direct the paint if you want to. Um, you can infuse the paint. It's really nice. Put some more pink. And we'll go with the white again. And the gold. You want enough paint that can keep you going. Um, so that once you pour the paint, you are in good shape, so you're not running low. Now, I've seen a lot of people prop up their paints. I just put it on this little puppy pad, and it works out just fine. Um, I did buy some of these things, but they're kind of rounded on the ends. Um, I think I might take my glue gun and put some flat things on them to see if I can flatten them out. I thought they were going to be flat, but they're rounded on the bottom. Yeah, let's see. Let's do some more gold. All right. Yeah, some more pink. Now, the good thing about your paint is once you've made up this paint, you can keep it. Um, a lot of times when I have pinks like this, I will go ahead and mix these two paint pinks together um, and use them for a future pour. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go in a little bit of a circle. With those golds coming in there. Look at that. All right, I don't know what this is gonna turn out to be, but right now it's looking good. Now I will say that paint is unpredictable, at least for me it is. Um, it comes out of the cup sometimes looking really, 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 really nice. And then sometimes it will do some weird stuff and it won't look so nice and you end up scrapping the whole thing and starting over. So we shall see what this does. So let's just let that sit there for a few minutes and kind of look and see what we've got here. We've got some beautiful look. We've got some beautiful things going on over here. We've got some things going on here that look pretty good. So let's see if we pick it up and see if it moves around on us. Let's see what it does here. Oh, look at it go. Look at it go. That is really turning out pretty. Let's go down on here. All right, let's put the blow dryer to it and see what happens. So, let me show you my blow dryer. Um, end up paint all over you. And your, if you dedicate a blow dryer to your paint, that's probably a good thing to do. Um, they have a tendency to get pretty ucky after a little while. Um, this blow dryer is called, kind of like anything. Um, I bought this off Amazon. I can link that, the information down below. You can see where I've used some gold there. Um, it was a cheap little thing. Um, I've tried different blow dryers and I really like this one. And so let's, let's blow this around and see I'd like to do something up here. So we kind of tilted it and had it go in that direction. So let me blow it this way. And we need power. Power is everything. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this baby to go. Here we go. Here we go. Well, that 
is kind of interesting. I'm not sure about this here in the center. Um, we've got some pretty things going on over here. I like that. Let me see if we pick it up and tilt it. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I keep on hand these little sticks. These are skewers. Um, and I just keep these little guys and they are wonderful. You can use either um, the dull end or the sharp end and you can just kind of kind of move your paint around a little bit. If you want to bring some of this in here maybe you can do that. You want to bring some of that white in. If you want to do a little bit deeper you can use the other end and you can bring that puppy in there. Bring these over here. This over that way. Like I said there's something needs Needs a little something in the center. Um, got plenty of paint here. You can feel I feel like I've got a good amount of paint. I just wish it was doing a little bit something in the center here. So let's see. We can let's see if we can tilt it a little bit and see where it goes. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it's not that blob in the middle there is not so centered. Let's see what we can do with this up here. There we go. There we go. All right. There we go. That oh, looks pretty good. Like I said, I don't know about that in the center. I wish. It needs a little something something. I like my bling and I think that just needs a little something in that center but I'm not quite sure. I don't want to put more pink that's for sure. Um, hmm. What do you think? Are we going to run it? Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Let's see what that does. Give that just a second to kind of sink up into that paint. Let's see what we if we can do something that is really thick right there. Look at all that over there. All right, I'm starting to move around a little bit. Let me see if I can blow it through a straw. I do have a straw over here. Let's see where we go here. Maybe. It's still kind of, I don't know, kind of dull, don't you think? A little bit? I don't know. Um, it's not bad, though. It's come along. We just might have something kind of interesting before we're done here. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Let's drag something in there. I should have got my spinner. Um, I do have a turn table um, that we could put this on a turn and take it for a spin if we wanted to. Um, I bought mine at Ikea. Um, it's actually a Lazy Susan. It works really well. Um, it's covered in paint. So it's it is definitely um, paint oriented. So let's torch it and let's use a little torch and see what we can do. Let me pop those bubbles in there and see what we've got. And what is that? Let's get that out of there. Okay. is pretty well pleased with this one um again your sides every artist has their own what they want to do with the sides some take them up um some of them run over the edges and you can kind of see a little bit what's going on back over here and take your finger and kind of move that around a little bit 
Um, I usually wear gloves. Um, gloves have a tendency to kind of similar to like uh, if you've seen people do stuff with balloons. Um, the, the gloves can kind of do something kind of similar to that. Let's pick up a little bit of paint. All right. So let's give this thing an overnight thing and see how she dries out. And we will come back tomorrow. And usually these things um, take about 48 hours to dry, sometimes longer. Um, it just kind of depends on the paint and, and the weather and um, what kind of air you've got going on and we're just gonna let this sit out here in the garage and dry and then we are going to take a look at it in the morning or sometime prior tomorrow evening take a look at it and we will go from there but I think I'm okay with it it's not the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in the entire world when it comes to lots of pinks, um, pinks and golds, but it's got character. Um, it's got a few cells in it. It's got some things up here and I'm anxious to see how it dries. I can see, I don't know how well the camera's picking up, um, some of the shimmer. The gold has a lot of shimmer to it. So it'd be interesting to see how that turns out. So, and it's interesting because remember I told you I had put a little bit of black in that paint and I can see itty bitty little tiny specks of black. So that's, that's going to be interesting to see how that does. Don't look at me. I'm getting my arms in. Okay. I'm going to stop messing with it because if I keep going, it's just going to have to be, I don't know. It's going to mess up. So. Thank you for spending your time with me this evening, and I hope to see you soon. Um, like I said, we're going to we'll take uh, some close-ups of it um, tomorrow um, evening after it dries, and I can, let me unhook you here. Alrighty, so you can come down and see. Sorry, the lights, there's the light aside. So you can see a little bit. Let's, let me turn my light off, maybe. You can really see what's going on here. There we go. All right, there we go. It's kind of hard to see. The garage lights are kind of weird. So you can kind of see what it's looking like. So we will take a look at it tomorrow and see what it looks like.